I tell you what, we're excited for this chat. Let me tell you this. We're going to catch up right now. Joining the run home, Brian, with Joel and mm. Fletch, is Mark Leishman. Welcome to the run home, Mark. How are you, mate? Yeah, good. How are you guys? Mate, we're outstanding. I'm good. We're outstanding. What a career you've had. Good. You turned pro in 2005. So from a pro point of view, mm. you're 18, mate. How does that feel? Yeah, it's uh, it's seems like it's uh, been been longer than that actually. It's uh, it's no, it's, it's been a good um, a good run for me. Um, but hoping I've got a a fair few good years left in me yet. Mate, you charged home uh, last week in the uh, PGA Championship. So, can I ask you a bit this about Min Woo Lee? Is he uh, a quiet sort of kid, or has he got a little bit of uh, scallywag about him? Um, oh, no, I certainly wouldn't call him quiet, but I think he's uh, quietly confident. Um, yeah, right. He's a you know good fella, but he's got the game to, to back it up. So, um, yeah, he's uh, obviously proved that um, he's the real deal last week. And, well, I mean, the last couple of years, really, he's had a, a pretty good run. OK, this is coming up, the Australian Open. It's, it's a big one, but I want to take you back 10 years, if you don't mind, Mark, to... For me, it's one of the greatest Australian uh, moments ever... Now, Adam Scott wins the Masters, Brian, but people forget the top four that particular Masters had three Australians, including our man, Mark Leishman. So Mark finished equal fourth with who, Brian? Who would you guess? When you think Masters in recent times, you Mm -hmm. think who? Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. Who did you pair up with, Mark, in that last round that day? I actually played with Scotty. Um, So when he made that putt on 18... Uh, and we thought he'd won, actually. We, he gave me a ripping high five. Um, pretty, it had been raining for a couple of hours, and I remember I had about a four-footer um, to finish tied fourth. It was worth a fair bit of money, and um, I remember my hand was bright red and ringing and just, you know, when it burns after a real good high five, and I remember I had a four-footer to try and try and finish tied fourth. So, um <laughs> Yeah, it was uh, it was great memories. I remember being on the side of the green there when he uh, he made that putt to what ended up being to get into a playoff. But it was yeah pretty special to have that front seat view. Well, I've seen this photo many times, and I've used it in various speaking gigs in that Brian. Where I think it's one of the great iconic Australian moments. Where, for all intents and purposes, Mark Leishman is taking on and is a competitor of Adam Scott. Adam Scott sinks the putt that he's talking about, and in the background. You can see Adam, uh, sorry, Mark, pumping his fists. So pumped to see Adam do it. He's a competitor, That's awesome. and he's just got right yeah. behind him. Another Aussie, Mate, what, a, what a great moment that was, Mark. Yeah, well, um, I, I hit one in the water on 15, and that probably sunk my chances to, to win. So, um, you know, I was a, like any other Australian, just wasn't sitting on a couch in front of a TV. I, was, I had that front row view. So, um, yeah, it was unbelievable to be there. Obviously, um, it was just a just to, to to pump my fist like probably every other Australian did. So, uh, pretty special moment, and um, just it's just awesome to see one of your good mates, um, you know, fulfil a, a lifetime dream. I guess. Hey, Mark, how's the uh, Leishman Lager going? Still kicking goals? Yeah, it's doing all right. Yeah, yeah, it's still going all right. We're, um, we're obviously still trying to get it into more places, but. Um, yeah, we're still ticking along, and um, hopefully a lot of people will be uh, buying some over the Christmas break to, to have a couple. Give us a bit of... What is it? What is it? Is it a crafty beer, or is it just a lager? Sell it to us. Leash? It's, uh, it's a... We brewed it as a mid-strength, but um, but to try and taste like a, a full-strength beer with the, with the flavour. Certainly not a... I wouldn't say it tastes like a craft brew. It tastes like a... Just a normal, you know, lager, I guess you'd say. Um, but um, yeah, it's one of those beers you can, if you're gonna, if you're planning on having a few, it's a, it's a good one. You can, you can have a few and still, uh, still function all right, but still do, get that good taste. Do any of the players get around it too? Like any of the foreigners? Like, are we? Like yeah, any, yeah, um, yeah. All the boys like... that have tried it have loved it. Yeah. Um, when we we're over in Adelaide this year for live, it was, it was on course, and we. We sold a, a a heap of it, so um, yeah, the players all loved it. It was at all the functions. Um, yeah, the boys enjoy it, and um, hopefully, it'll really take off soon. Did it take off uh, a few weeks ago, or maybe maybe a bit over a month ago now? For certain persons, fortieth. Did it take off there, Mark? 
Yeah, we, we were down, um, actually down in the Florida Keys for a bit of a, a bit of a party, <laughs> nice. and um, yeah, we had a, uh, we did have a few. It was a good little celebration. You know, turning forty is a pretty big birthday. Where, where, oh, do, you, where do you live over there in the states, Mark? I live in Virginia Beach, which is in Virginia. It's about middle of the East Coast, so right. um, about three hours drive south of Washington DC. And, and why there? Why, why did you uh, well, set my up wife. camp there? Yeah, oh, she's okay. from there. Yeah, she's from there. So sort of happy wife, happy life. So yeah. uh, we decided <laughs> that's where we'd end up. And I'm trying to talk her into moving back to Australia at the moment, actually. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> hey, where, where would home be when, if you come home, Mark? I, I mean, I'm not sure, actually. Pro- probably Warrnambool, um, yep. but maybe maybe Brisbane. Uh, we, we love it up there, so... We'll um, we'll wait and see. I'd say we'll end up in in America still, but um, with the kids in school and all that over there. But um, yeah, well, I'll give it a go to try and get it to move back. <laughs> Mark, can I ask you about the party hole? Uh, you obviously, live golf's going back to Adelaide again. How does our party hole or Adelaide's party hole compared to the one in Phoenix? Yeah, it's um, a fair bit. I mean, I guess similar. It's just a, a bit smaller. Uh, the one at Phoenix, they have, they probably get about oh, 15,000 people in there. Um, the one in Adelaide is a bit smaller, but it's a bit closer too. So um, a little more intimidating, I would say, the one in, in Adelaide, just with the, it's a long shoot out of the, off the tee between the grandstands. So if you're, if you're a bit off, you can um, actually hit it in the stands there. It's a pretty ordinary shot to hit it into the stands in Phoenix. Now, Mark, your career, like it's an amazing career. You've finished uh, top five twice in the Masters, top five. The pressure of going to that final round and you're finishing in the top five. You've finished top five in the Open Championship twice, including a runners-up. What's the one you want? What's the one that you desperately want? Um, I mean, probably the two you mentioned. I mean, if I had to choose one, it would probably be the British Open just because I got so close. Um, you know, losing in a playoff there, but I mean, honestly, any major, I'll, I'll take whatever I can get. But I'll, if I had to choose one, it'd be the probably the British Open or the Masters. But I'll say British. We have uh, James Magnuson who fills in for the show from time to time, and he, he lost a a gold medal by 0.01, and it haunts him. Uh, losing that British Open, running it runners up. Uh, are you excited to be runners up? Are you? Do you think back, oh, if I only did that, I could have been the champ? What are your thoughts about all that? Yeah, I think back on it occasionally. Um, I mean, I hit it into a divot down the first playoff hole, which was disappointing. Um, so that was you know, not the way I wanted to get the playoff started. But I missed a, a shortish putt on the 16th of, of regulation. Um, yeah, so I do think about it occasionally. But it happened at a, at a weird time in my life because it was only about three months before that, that we basically got told my wife wasn't going to make it. So oh. my perspective was really good. Um, you know, with two young boys at home, I was just happy to be able to go home and see them and, and have a wife that was, that was you know, starting to get, get her health back on, on track. Yeah, well, you reminded me too, um, and it's fantastic how that's played out for you, Mark. I, I, a really good mate of mine who, who's had a lot of battles, uh, the Whistler, he, he's got some terrific news Similarly today as well. So shout out to the Whistler. Um, what are we thinking? Who, who do you see as the major dangers for the Australian Open? A uh, lot of good players, actually. A lot of good players. Um, I think Cam's going to be pretty determined after a bit of an off week last week. Um, I know he was pretty disappointed and he's uh, been practicing hard early this week and actually playing quite nice. So uh, Cam will be hard to beat. Um Min Woo Lee's obviously playing very well. And um, as far as the international guys, I think Wako Neiman, um, he's a very good player and he's probably back on, on time, the Australian time, and ready for a big week as well. Um, now, Brian, can you please explain to Mark Leishman, our guest, the run home effect? Basically, Mark, so we, ha- we had AFL guys on or we had rugby league guys on and they score a try or they'll kick four or five goals. So basically, you've come on our show now, so you will win. you win the Aussie Open. That's in a nutshell. Beautiful. Yep. Sounds so good well to done. me. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll bring the trophy in on Monday and we'll have a beer out of it. <laughs> what, where is the Aussie? Um, it's at the Aussie, isn't it? Is that where you're playing? 
It is, is, yeah. The, the Australian okay. and the Lakes. Yeah, yes. So it's at two courses. It, it, oh, okay. is, is that unusual to be doing, to use two courses? Yeah, uh, that is very unusual. Um, where it's a mixed event with the ladies, Australian uh, Open. So we're yeah. both playing on the same course. So they needed, you know, we wouldn't all fit yeah. on uh, on the same golf course. So we needed to and, use two. And how does how do those two courses, the Lakes and the Australian, compare uh, to overseas courses? Are we holding? Yeah, I mean they're as good as you'll get anywhere. Um, really? Yeah. The the condition of the Australian, or both of the golf courses, but in particular the Australian. Um, is just probably as good as I've ever seen, to be honest. So, um, yeah, the courses in Australia are, are as good as you get anywhere. Now, tell us about the Begin Again Foundation. Yeah, so after my wife Audrey got sick a few years ago, um, we started a foundation to, to help um, f- families who have sort of gone through something similar. You know, we saw how financially devastating it can be. Um, we were lucky to be in a position where it didn't, didn't um, you know, send us over the edge. But um, so we give grants to families who are going through health crises and, um, and then, you know, multiple other things. But, um, yeah, it's, we help people who are going through some health issues. Mate, that's fantastic. Uh, people can look it up. Begin Again Foundation. Now, mate, just we've had a lot of questions about this, which, to be honest with you, I think a lot of people are a little bit like me and don't quite understand. So I sort of felt like, uh, you know, 12 months ago or so, that Liv and PJ had harmoniously come together. But now we're reading about John Rahm looking to... or well, he has signed with Liv. There's a rumour. The rumour. What's the latest of Liv and the PGA? Where, where are we at with the pair? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Um, from, from what I've sort of heard, it's looking like it's less likely that there'll be a merger. Um, mm-hmm. But, I, you know, it can change any day. I, I hadn't heard anything about the merger until it happened, or the so-called, you know, announcement. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. I think December 31st is a pretty important date. Um, so I think by just either on that date or the day after, we'll probably hear something, but... What that will be, I don't know, unfortunately. How is it, Mark, when you first signed with Liv, does it get a bit frosty on tour with, with other players or um, are you all you know, professional enough just to, just to move on? No, the players were fine. Um, yeah. So I didn't sign until after I'd sort of finished the season on the tour and then, um, then did that. Once you signed, you were, you were gone. So... Um, yeah, I uh, didn't sign until afterwards, but the players have been great. I mean, they yeah. all, we still all, you know, we're all friends and the guys who are on tour that are here, you know, this week and last week, we're all friendly and um, most of the stuff is just sort of built up in the media and um, everything's very friendly. Obviously, between the, the upper, the guys who are running the Live and PGA, I, I'm assuming there's a little more tension there, but um, yeah. yeah, as far as the players go, we're still great mates. And how does it work? Do you sign a, like a three-year contract with Liv or is it lifetime or how, how does that all work? Yeah, so guys, um, it depends on what you negotiate. I signed a, a pretty long contract, which was good. Um, and then there's some guys that signed one year. Some guys have just got a, you know, a, a week to week, I guess, uh, in the early stages. But um, yeah, I think most of the Aussie boys have signed a, a pretty good contract as far as timeline goes. All righty, Mark, a hypothetical before you go. Uh, you've been given four tickets to the opener of the NRL in Vegas and you can take three golfing mates, non-Australian mates. Yeah, so okay. Who are the three that would be with Mark Leishman at the opener of the Rugby League at Vegas and everything that comes with Vegas? Non-Australian mates? Yes. Non-Australian um, golfing. Go- golf, yeah, golfers that you can bring along. Oh, golfing. All right. Go- yeah. uh, I'm taking Abraham Anter. Yep, oh, he's, is he, he good can fella? bring the tequila. Um, <laughs> oh, you like tequila? Leash? He's got a tequila brand. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, I'll take oh. Abraham Anser. I'll take um, Joaquin Neiman, and I'll take yep. Harold Varner. Oh, that is outstanding. That is outstanding. Now I might have missed this, yeah. uh, Mark. We we're talking about because I'm I don't mind a flutter, um, and you said there Neiman. Is. You like the, the I'm yes. going to back you. You're at 15s. Um, so Neiman, 
I should be having a little little bit of uh, dodge. He's not on telling him. you to do that. He's just no. saying who he sees as a danger. Okay. <laughs> but you're reading it that way. So am I. I played with him last Sunday and he's playing all right. So I, I can't uh, tell you to bet on him. But he's yep. playing no, all right. No, no, no. I, I know you're not going to do it. What about Bads? Aaron Badley's at 60s. Mate, just read Yeah, I haven't the lines. seen much of Bads. He has won an Australian Open around the lakes, I believe, mm. um, which we've got one round there. So, but I haven't seen much of him play. But his bads is always good in an Australian Open. He's had a couple of wins, and um, he wouldn't be a bad one. The one at the lakes is that where Greg Norman went in? He, was it, he got a ten? Is that when he just kept going in the water? Was that John Daly? Someone went in the. That was John Daly. Yeah. John Daly. Yep. Hey, we need we need to let Leash go. Really, yes, two sir. quick ones. The listeners want to get involved here, but um, uh, Rooster Muzz says, "What's the best Warrnambool pub that you can suggest?" And the other one. We're saying here, will Mark retire to Noosa when his oldest son, Harvey, becomes a pro golfer? Thoughts? <laughs> yeah, Harvey's going all right. Noosa's not a bad spot either. So, oh, that's um, a good spot. Yeah, I'd be more than happy to do that. Um, and best pub in Warrnambool? Oh, I'd have to go go the Shanaki, the Irish pub down there. Beautiful. Mark Leishman, it's been Thanks, a pleasure. Leish. Armageddon's about to happen no here. At Circular Key. We appreciate it. All the best. And as we said, the run home effect. Expect to be winning yeah. the Australian Open. I'll Mark Leishman, thanks for being part of the run home with Joel and Fletch. Come on, you mate. No worries. Thanks, lads.